what we got going on at our house today is powering up the refrigerator, testing it out, using the EcoFlow Delta 1300 power station. We'll see how it goes and I'm taking you along. All right, we've got the power unit. What, William? I'm, just, I'm, sure the I, I'm going to. Okay. We have the power unit here in the kitchen. William brought it out here from the sewing room and put it on the cutting board here because it slides easily on top of the cabinet, on the side cabinet here, in front of the refrigerator that he pulled out from the wall so we can get to the plug. We are going to test out the refrigerator. And let me just show you too that it's it's a full size two door refrigerator freezer and it is plugged in now. Of course you can tell by the light. Can't really hear it running, but you know it's on because of the light, okay? And well and you can see that too. Yes, we do need to change a filter, will ya? No, it's not. <laughs> okay, but we're going to get this unit powered up here. Let me just push the button to turn it on. And you see that it is charged up to 96% capacity. Right here it tells you that it would run for 99 hours. It depends on what you're charging, of course. And here is where it shows you the input and output of wattage. So, let me get to the refrigerator unplugged and plugged into this little... Echo Flow Delta 1300 power unit. So where I'm going to put it is on the end slot here. And then you turn the button here because you have to, it says right down here, press and hold to use AC power. So I'm going to do that until the light comes on. <gasps> okay, there we go. AC power is powered up. William is turning it around here. The front here shows okay output so far 21 16 okay well that's varying that's, normal. that's William says that's normal I don't know and you can see the hours here the hours is changing too and now we're going to see here test 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 you want to open okay William's going to open the door and the light is on <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, William. Let me get you. The refrigerator light is on. Oh, yeah, and the door has all the information powered up. We are running our LG refrigerator on our little Echo Flow Delta 1300 power unit. So. William just said we'll come back later. We <laughs> so we're going to let it run. Are we going to let it run for a while? Yeah. Leave it plugged in for a while? I want to see how it does for a few hours. Oh, a few hours even. Okay. Okay, because I think in a storm, and if there, if there was a hurricane that knocked our power out and we had to use this to plug in the refrigerator, mm -hmm. um, we have a, enough cords now, enough cables to plug in this little charging unit and run cables outside to the solar panel so we could keep it charged up that way. But um, if we had other things plugged in here, it would take more power as well. You know, So it just depends on what all you want to plug into this unit as to how, much, or how many hours of service you would get without having to recharge it or keep it charging up using the solar panels. Does that make sense, everybody? Plan is plan is? We'll use this during the outage. Yeah, my air fryer. And this during the to hour. Toaster. And one of these. Oh, yeah, my um, this. action burner. This one is a couple years old now, you know what, William? It's mm -hmm. a Cook's Companion. There are several different brands out there, but this is what we would use to plug into that little um, power unit to keep us going with cooking. We also have a barbecue grill, a small one. A very small one. And that's good. That will use that. That will um, that will work too. Oh, William's over there now getting some ice and water out of our refrigerator that is powered up with the little Delta power unit. It is working. Oh my gosh! 
Let's see how much juice that took. Hmm. Oh, now, now it's, now it's working. Now it's running. It's like when he, um, got the ice and water out of the unit, it had to stop and think a little bit about how much juice was being used and now it's refiguring. Okay. Well, we're going to let this run for a couple of hours and then we'll see how fast it drains down the unit. Yeah, the screen does go out. You just have to press a button on there to light the screen back up again. See, my output here is growing. It's increasing. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're going to let it go for a few hours here, and I'll bring you back. We had to resort to plugging in the solar panel um, and using that to um, charge up or to keep powered the refrigerator because the, the unit here was down to like, what, three hours, and then William decided he wanted to test it by um, bringing it out to the garage and plugging it into the solar panels. So we've done that, and let me see here. Okay, from the solar panels, it has actually increased in hours that it will continue running. And it is now at 79% charged, and looks like it might run for six, seven hours. Still charging on the solar panel though. We've got the solar panel out here, which we have to move because it's in the shade right now. Or it's uh, kind of in the shade. We're gonna move it around here to the full sun for the rest of the afternoon okay. and continue charging the power unit by the solar panel. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've moved the solar panel now to uh, the sidewalk in front of the house. It's in full sun and it will be this way for the rest of the day. Well, for the rest of the afternoon anyway. And we're continuing to power the refrigerator, which is plugged into the power unit which is plugged into the solar panel, getting charged up by the solar panel. This is very interesting. It's something new for both William and I to use solar panels to um, power up a generator. And it all started with this little guy because this little ring unit, security unit, I don't know if you can see it here, there, has a, let's see here if I can zoom in on it. Has a little solar panel that will charge it. It charges the batteries that are in it and William has been very impressed by how well that charges the batteries. So because of that, we now have a little power unit that has a solar panel to power that up. Since we moved the solar panel into the new sunlight, the bright sunlight in front of the house, it really boosted the power charge. So, very interesting. The refrigerator is still being powered by this little unit, and this unit is being powered, or charged, with the sun panel, with the solar panel. A lot of you have asked how long I could power the refrigerator plugged into the power unit. And that's really hard to say. If you have other things plugged into it, it's going to take a lot of juice from the power unit for everything. But if you have that little unit recharging, like if it's hooked up to a solar panel and still powering up like your refrigerator or something else, it, it's going to go for quite a while. The main thing is that we tested this out our refrigerator is still plugged into the power unit and it is still working. And yes, it is, it is cold in there, <laughs> just as if it were plugged into the electrical. So it works. It has done an amazing job. Um, I don't think we have any qualms at all or questions about how it's to be used in case we you know, need to pull it out and plug something into it during a hurricane or just a little power outage no matter what. We know how it works, how it charges, and it does a fantastic job. As far as the amount of time, you know, like it would to hold a charge to power up the refrigerator, 
it got down to three hours. So that's when we decided to hook up the solar panel and charge up the power unit and keep the refrigerator plugged in too. And the power on the unit itself is actually increasing with the solar panel charge. So, it, you know, that question is hard to answer because we wouldn't be using it that way. We wouldn't be just totally draining out the power unit. After running the refrigerator for four to five hours today hours. or whatever, anyway, and doing a solar panel charge on the little power unit here, we are going to turn everything off here. There's no more sun out front, so we're gonna tear things apart here, but the generator itself shows 55% charged and that it would last charging the refrigerator here for about seven hours because it was solar right. charged. Okay, so we're gonna disconnect the solar panel. Okay, and I'm gonna turn off that side. There we go. After a long day playing with this unit, going back and forth, in and out, checking it out, we're ready to finalize this. It's our testing day of plugging in the refrigerator to the power unit, and then also plugging the power unit into solar panels to keep it charging. And William, what would you have to say about this? How do you think it worked? I think it did good. However, I uh, would like to get a hold of four more solar panels because I think it, that would give it a little extra boost. The refrigerator is a very large one. It pulls a lot of current. But it held its own for about five or six hours. And then we decided the sun was going in, and that means we had to take the solar panels down because there's nothing to charge them. Right. But we noticed by watching these four solar panels, it does charge the unit slowly. But I thought if we got four more, it would charge it even faster and longer. But other than mm -hmm. that, I'm glad we got it. Yep. Me too. It's a, it's a very nice little unit. It We got it on sale. It was a little bit off, but it is still pricey. But it's worth it. I and so. Yeah, and we'll be looking at adding panels for it. So... That's going to be it for this testing, and I think I'm done actually doing any more testing on the power unit. We're going to put it away. We're going to store it away for about what? They say... Every three months. Yeah, every three months, pull it out and use it on something, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Hope you're all having a good one out there. You take care, and we'll be talking to you again real soon, but bye for now.